or the next plane that we're going to talk about. It is called as management plane. Now, as mentioned, management plane is actually uh, considered or, or handled by one of the component into the HD van, which is called as vManage. And uh, vManage plays the role of network management system, the NMS, that provides a single pane of glass to manage the entire HD van solution. And vManage can actually be utilized for onboarding, provisioning, uh, policy creation, troubleshooting, software management, monitoring, and whatnot. Okay, uh, analytics, analytics, and all. So, on any one, the certificate installation and all of those things. So, we manage is your centralized GUI that actually gives you the ability to to play with the fabric entirely. And though the uh, we manage, you can say, um, is is kind of the most strongest resource that is used into the SD WAN fabric. So it comes in the form of a virtual machine. If you enjoyed the content of the video, don't forget to like and share the video and subscribe to our channel. Okay, and it needs to be installed into a server. But in the production environment, it is recommended to have a resource of at least 24 GB for vManage to be installed and around eight CPUs on the server and around 200 GB of RAM. This is a recommended resource that you need to have on your server in order to install in order to install vManage. OK, so the minimum resource, however, you can use in order to just boot up and work with around three, four, two or three or four sites. You can you can boot up the vManage with at least 8 GB of RAM, you cannot boot up with less than that, and two CPUs, and around 30 GB of RAM, uh, 30 GB of hard drive. That's the resource that you're going to require at least in order to just boot up the B manage. But to make it work in the production, it is recommended to at least have 24 gigs of RAM, 8 CPU, and 200 GB of storage. Then, if the size increases of your production, you can increase the size of the resources as well and then keep on increasing as the requirement goes but one we manage can handle up to 2000 van edges okay one we manage can handle up to 2000 van edges and depending on the need it is highly scalable so depending on the needs of the environment when when you want to cluster, when you want to create a cluster of vManage, you can have at least three vManages to create a cluster. And the value can go like 5, 7, 9, 11, and things like that. But it always needs to be an odd number to avoid the split brain scenario. So when you have at least three vManage to create a cluster, these vManages can handle then 6,000 van edges. Uh, each of if each of your site has just a single v, just a single manage, then you can think that one we manage or one we manage cluster can handle up to six thousand managers, so six thousand sites, which is way more than enough. And if you if your each site has a redundancy, even then as well, one we manage cluster would be able to handle three thousand sites, or a single we manage would be able to handle one thousand sites, if you have redundancy in place that every site has two managers that needs to be part. And uh, the information, so all the configuration to the SD-WAN fabric can be performed within the vManage in order to maintain the consistency and scalability. So, and each each vanage, when you when you uh, when you talk about a vanage, let's say this is your this is your vanage. And that advantage is connected to maybe INET. And then the INET is connected to vManage. So what's going to happen is your advantage will form up a tunnel. And that tunnel is going to be DTLS, Datagram Transport Layer Security. It is not going to be IPSec. 
So your vanish will actually form up a tunnel with V manager that is going to be a data plane that, that is going to be control plane or you can say just a tunnel for the management plane. Okay, that tunnel is going to be DTLS tunnel and it will be maintained throughout in order to see if your if your vanish is reachable or not. If the data plane tunnel, sorry, if the uh, management plane and plane tunnel is down, if the DTLS tunnel is down due to an outage, and if you are if you are connected to with vManage in some or the other way and want to push up a configuration onto this vManage, then your your configuration will not be pushed, but it will be queued. So as, as the time goes, as soon as the connectivity comes up. Then the tunnel, uh, then the configuration will be pushed automatically. You don't need to again go to the device and push the push the config. Makes sense. That's that's how we manage actually works. Uh, here, uh, when, whenever the tunnel is up, then only the configuration will be pushed to the VH, right? That's correct. Yeah. But if the tunnel is down, then it is not going to break the IPsec tunnels. The data plane connectivity will still be maintained. Yeah, but the communication it's is there, but. If the communication not, is there, okay. yes, please, please go ahead. Uh, when if the communication is there between VManage and VH, so mm -hmm. there will be a no like a communication and the policy will not push right. Whenever the data like tunnel will up between these two devices, then only the policy will be pushed to the VH. That's correct. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. 